Hi everyone. Um, I'm gonna bring Matt on. Uh, let's see here. So I have my brother Mike here. Say hi, Mike. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? Eat wants to be in your video. Let's see here. Approve. I'm bringing Matt on. I never did it through uh, Eat actually. All right, there we go. Wi-Fi or not? Hey. I don't know. Hey. Okay. I hear an echo. Oh, we're good. We're good. All right. Can you see it? Yeah. Matt, can you see us? Can you see me? Okay. What? Yeah, I can now. I, I Usually I go, I accept Matt Foltz, but it says... I must have been eat. logged in like, as Eat for some reason. Okay, know, as right. long as hey, it what's works. Like? What's up, everybody? How are what's you up, guys? Matt? Good, good, good. Excellent. Open 100% capacity. Very good. And the governor ain't going to do a thing Amen about it. <laughs> he ain't going to do a damn thing about it. I agree it. with you. How you like that, Gov? <laughs> still, waiting for, still waiting for that court yeah. date, Gov. Still waiting for the court yeah, date. Yeah, I thought he... This guy has been in, at work at the Capitol. Like six months. Six or seven months. Bum. Can't even set a court date for mm. Little Case of Sicily. Unbelievable. Well, it sounds like he's not going to be the only one not helping out. Seems like some of our, uh, or the lawmakers want to go on a little hiatus, huh? Yeah, that's right. Yep. And you know what, Matt? So when I was talking to uh, our attorney today, I said, because he was like, he was like, it's very upsetting. And so people were like, they always take breaks around this time. But my lawyer was like, they can't take a break right now. Things are very bad. We're in a crisis. Right. They can't take a break. That's optional. Mm. Take a recess. They don't care. They don't care. They're like, they're like wolf. They're getting paid. And you know what, Matt? In some ways, I kind of think they're on his hey, side. Look. Doug Mastrano said that in the real world, you continue to do the job until it's done. I couldn't done. agree more. You get it done. You get it done. You get it That's done. That's right. That's right. It's crazy. Yeah. I I just seen that um, Taste of Sicily was added to this, like, <laughs> hate page. For people who stand up for Holy Trump, God. and that they put me on there, and I tried, yeah. So it was like that's another thing. Well, like, I, I was reading something that I don't know if it's out yet, but or in the future that you can go onto Yelp eventually, and you can label a, an establishment as racist on there, and it sticks. Can you believe that? Wow. People will just do wow, that out wow, of anger. Wow. Yeah. One of the best things I've ever done for my own sanity and just for you know, really getting stuff done is, I don't even, I don't even listen to the news. You know, I don't even listen to the media. I hardly even watch TV. I just, I just get stuff done, take care That's of right. business. And, uh, you know, there is a real thing called psychological warfare. And I listen to like no radio, you know, no media, no TV. That's just I'm me. with you. That's just me. We're busy enough. We're busy enough on our own media. I don't have time to watch Propaganda. anything else. But that's just me. So I just had to block this idiot. Did you see what he said? You get, you're getting attention. You're a bunch of frauds. <laughs> that's that's the kind of guy that you want him to sign the waiver and get into the race <laughs> yeah, and kick I his mean... ass. But we don't want to. We don't want to go to jail, so we can't handle things that way. So. This will lead us right into our ticket sales, but um, this lady came in in a panic tonight and she bought right. two jars of Mike's sauce. And she's like, I, I, gotta, I gotta buy sauce, I'm told to stock up. They're shutting the whole country down. I said, who told you that? She's like, my daughter. I said, they told you that, yeah, she said only certain businesses will be open. I said, ma'am, I promise you that's not gonna happen. But it just goes to show you the power uh, of the media. 100%. You know? But you guys know, uh, Matt, I, I got, I don't know if you got to watch my live earlier. I got off the phone with my attorney and basically he said the mandates mean absolutely nothing. And um, basically he said, not maybe, but all restaurant, 90% of restaurants and bars in Philadelphia will close indefinitely, indefinitely by January. So people, it is to buy a freaking ticket and come out and speak to 
our lawyer and and our LCB affiliate seriously. And Matt, can you give? Like, yeah, the yeah, and of, and, ahead, and, and we're trying to push this hard, guys, because the you the business owners are what determine whether whether these meetings continue or not because our, our, the response right. is all determined on because we got a large expense that comes out and uh so we we would love to keep doing these for 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 business owners unfortunately if the business owners don't stand up and come out and get this information it, it we're not just going to stand there by ourselves so what you need to do, if, if you're in Allegheny County out towards Pittsburgh on this coming Saturday, November 21st, from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the Cracked Egg, we're going to be doing our meeting there. It's going to be, it's going to be a great place to be because um, Kim, the wow. owner of the Cracked Egg, she's going to have her attorneys on site that day too. So anybody locally that has any questions for, their, for her attorneys and if they possibly are looking to uh, hire an attorney, to, to, to fight all the, all these mandates and this ridiculousness. Then follow following yeah. Saturday, that next coming Monday, November the 23rd from 6 PM to 8 PM, we're going to be at RC's bar and grill in Benton PA. We're, we're saying right now that, that it's, it's looking like it's probably going to be our last just because we've been selling out our meetings right and left. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's, if it's fear based, yeah. if it, if it's the election based or what's going on, but not a whole lot of people are reaching out. And for us to continue to do this, there needs to be a need for it. Right, Mike? Right. So, I mean, we, we really need to uh, get this push out. I mean, if uh, share this video just because it contains yeah. the dates in it of these meetings. You can get a ticket to these meetings. If you go to the EAT page or if you go to uh, the Entrepreneurs Against Tyranny group, they're tagged in announcements in the group and it's tagged at the top of the EAT page. You can get your ticket there. Look, guys, it, nothing's going to change. I mean, obviously, our lawmakers are taking a break until what was it, uh, January 5th, January 7th, something like that. Guys, we're, we're in it for the long haul. So we got yeah. November, December. We got two major hot three Thanksgiving, Christmas and New Year's coming up. Are you going to be open or are you going to find out how to be open? I hope so. Well, a couple of things here, Matt, just to piggyback on to what you're saying. So everybody, what Matt's saying is. If you want to, if you are motivated, if you should be motivated, if you want to provide for yourself and your family, you know, we have the knowledge equipped, you know, being backed by our law firm that we use along with a PLCB guy, that's Pennsylvania Liquor mm -hmm. Control Board guy to show you how to open up your business to 100% right. capacity, right? And you need to lower that. And, um, you know, I, he I hear some people say, oh, yeah, well, you know, you don't have a liquor license. You don't have a liquor license. I I I'm so tired of hearing mm -hmm. that from some local businesses. It doesn't matter we don't have a liquor license because, Matt, you know <clears> that <throat> even if we did, we would still open up to 100%. There is no difference in opening up to 100%. You just got to make sure you got certain things in order because you do right. have a liquor license, but you can still, in fact, do what Taste of Sicily is doing, has done, and is going to continue to do, and the governor ain't going to do <laughs> a thing about it. That's it. Now, if you have a business and you want to go out of business, and you want to, at the end of the day, allow your business to close down because it doesn't have to, and you want to allow all these big box stores and corporations, and don't forget the state stores, the state liquor stores, to rake in all the business after all those bars and taverns and, and all those places close that have a liquor license, then that's on you. I hope you don't think that way, but the way I see it is this. Either A, you don't want to work. B, you, you're not equipped with the knowledge how to open up 100%, which is where we come in. We're mm -hmm. trying to help everybody. But this is so sad. It's so sad. You're going to allow your businesses to close up. You just heard it from my sister. 90% of bars, taverns, places that have small businesses that have a liquor license are going to close. 
and they're never going to reopen. And you know who's going to make the business at the end of the day? The ones who opened. The ones who stayed open, like the state liquor stores. You got the big box stores. You got all the grocery stores that are selling all the alcohol. You got all those, uh, like, gas stations that they're selling alcohol. You're going to allow them to just Mm -hmm. rake it all in. I mean, where is your pride? Where is your strength? Where is your gusto? Where is your stick with itism? Where is your boldness? Where is your drive? You know, I keep saying this. It seems like the everyday average American business owner doesn't understand what well, rights sure. they have. They don't have to close. They don't have to listen to these mm-hmm. mandates. Even if you have a liquor license, you don't have That's right. to listen. That's right. The fact that, I mean, when, when people start off a conversation with a with you guys at Taste of Sicily, for instance, by saying, well, you guys don't have a liquor license. The first thing that that says to me is, okay, well, you don't understand the rights within your, within your establishment, within your bar, within your nightclub. So right. what we're saying is come out and get that information. Okay, you're right. We don't have a liquor license, but you do, but we have someone that can guide you. I like to use the reference. Like if you were in a war and uh, you were going to be guided by somebody that's already been across a, a, a minefield and he's telling you how to navigate it, are you just going to say, eh, I'm going to take it for myself and I'm going to take a run for it? No, you're going to stick with the person that knows how to navigate through all this nonsense and help you open up to 100% capacity and get on with your life. It's the holidays. Just do it. People are in a panic right now because they see like, oh, Governor Wolf put out these new mandates. And so right away, I called my attorney and I was like, so tell me how this affects anything. He said it absolutely does not. The only thing that was frustrating to him was that the legislators have decided that they're going to take a recess, which, like I said, they do every year at this time. However, now that we're in a crisis would be a good time to not do that. And someone else reached out. Um, I had a call last night and the lady was like, well, what should I do? Should I wear a mask or should I fight it? And I'm like, that's not an option for me to wear a mask. Like you just, you fight it. That's what you do and you will win. And then someone made the comment today, they wrote on my video, which, you know, um, had a really good and overwhelming response. And they said, Christine, that's because your leader stood up for you. No, it's not. Cause I had, remember I told you, I asked my attorney, I said, Is this because my district attorney stood up for me and my county commissioner, my senator? He says, no, law is law. So these men, there is, again, my lawyer said today, there is no end to this governor shutdown. For as far as you can see, we will never go completely green. So if you're waiting for the governor, just just shut your doors now because he's not going to give you the go. Yeah, he's not. Close your doors. You know, this governor is is solely responsible, solely responsible, him and Levine, for what happened in the nursing homes. They're solely responsible, the governor now, for picking and choosing who got the waivers, the business waivers, and who did not. This governor is perhaps the worst governor that the state of Pennsylvania has ever seen. Mm -hmm. What is very, very sad, what irritates me, is the average everyday American that doesn't understand what's going on. You are a free American. You need to watch the movie (laughs) Sparta. When uh, Leonidas meets up with this other army, the other army is vastly larger, has a whole lot more people. And I told you this story the other night, Matt, where the larger army, the captain of that army, the general, whoever the leader was, said, hey, Leonidas, you only bring us a handful of men. Like, I don't understand. I thought you would have brought a lot more people. They were kind of disappointed. And then Leonidas said, hey, you over there, what are you? He said, I'm a potter. He goes, you, what are you? He goes, I'm a sculptor. And he goes, what about you over there? I'm a blacksmith. So then he turns to his soldiers, Leonidas, Mm -hmm. you know, the Spartans. And then he goes, Spartans, you know, who are you or what do you do? And they, they all go, who, who, who? Because they knew that they were all soldiers right. first. Mm. They were all about defending their country and their, their livelihoods first. In other words, before you're anything, as soon as you're born, right. what are you? 
you're an American. That's what you are. You're an American first. Your profession and everything else is just another part of who you are. But you're a free American. And what's really sad is you're seeing a lot of these everyday average business owning Americans. They don't know their rights. And they're allowing this tyrannical governor and Levine to push them around. Right. You are a freaking free American. Right. And you have the power to tell that governor right. to stick it yep. where the sun don't shine. Yep. Especially when you have a private business and that you did not sign the certification mm -hmm. and that you did not take the pandemic assistance. You could tell him right. to go shove it. Yeah. This guy has no right to what he's doing. He conveys his mandates and his edicts as if they are law and they are not. Mm -hmm. So where am I at? Listen, where is eat at? Where is my sister? All of us. We're trying to help all of these businesses to we're frustrated <laughs> that we're going to equip you with the legal knowledge on how to open up your business to 100%. All we can do is lead the free Americans to the water, to the water of the knowledge of what you can be equipped with so that you can open up your business 100% and say, screw the governor, we ain't paying crap, just like Taste of Sicily. We beat his ass in court, we're gonna do it again, and that's it. I don't know what else to say, we don't know what else to do, but if you lose your business, you gotta explain to your wife or your girl or your kids, your family, and everybody else, why you chose to That's close right. up. Right. As far as Taste of Sicily goes, we're slamming, jamming, busy, and a lot of people don't know. Ooh, I lost a certain amount of stores out there because some of the stuff that I said. I got news for people, but I just don't post this stuff. I've already recouped more yeah. than half of other different and new stores back. New grocery stores that, that are carrying Goomba sauces and salsas. Right. So I don't need to post on social media what I'm doing. What I'm telling you to give you the hint and the insight here is we're all about business and making a livelihood. So we're going to continue to stay open to 100% capacity, Taste Sicily. I'm continuing to build the Goomba's brand. And this governor ain't going to do crap about it. And you know what? What Taste of Sicily is doing and Goombas, right? You can do it too. You have a food establishment, a retail, whatever it is, whether you have a liquor license or not, you can do it too. It, listen, if we can do it and we beat the governor's ass in court, what does that say? You would think that every business across this awesome state of Pennsylvania would have already opened up because they say, well, damn, if Taste of Sicily did it, well, there we go. They set the precedence. Right. So now yeah. we're going to do it. Right. We, you, you all beat the governor's ass That's in right. court. Right. We can line up all day long and keep sticking it to this guy because we're going to continue to win because what he's doing is unconstitutional. Yep. That's yeah. That's you know what? I'd, I'd, like to, I'd like to add as, as well. If, if you're a business that opens up now to 100% capacity, and you're the only you're the only restaurant or business in your area. Not only are you going to be making all the money in the area, but in years to come, when all this BS is over with, you know. And I'm not joking when I say this. You, your kids will grow up one day and say, "Oh, Dad, why why do we go here? Because these this business right here, their their grandparents were patriots in 2020. They stood up against a tyrannical government. So we're always going to support those. No one's ever going to forget Taste of Sicily." They're always going to support it. So why don't you be your own taste of Sicily for your family and give? I would say your own, yeah. your own hero. I mean, it's like, no, you don't have to wear a mask at your business. No, you don't have to social distance. No, you don't have to put those little stickers up that say stand six feet apart. No, you don't need barriers. If you, it, it, and I think the way, the reason that we sell so many tickets for our meetings is people want to hear it from their, right. from our attorney, right? So come out to a meeting, buy a ticket The we have to charge because we, um, we pay the LCB gentleman and then we also okay. pay our attorney. So 
Um, but Matt, do you want to go ahead and, and say where the next event's going to be? Because I know you. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll, I'll go over it again. So we are doing our lawyer LCB meeting in Allegheny County in, in Pittsburgh. So it's in Brentwood at the Cracked Egg, November 21st, this Saturday, 3 p.m. Hey, Matt, where, where can they get a ticket? Let them know that too. Certainly, where they can certainly. Get the ticket. So at the Cracked Egg on Saturday from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Then this next Monday, November 23rd from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. At, at RC's Bar and Grill, and that's in Benton, PA. All the information is tagged to the top of the EAT page. It is also in announcements on the Entrepreneurs Against Tyranny group. Uh, if you have any trouble finding that, just send me a PM. I'll send you the invite. It's crucial, guys. It's coming down to, like, like Chris said, if you're in Philly, you're going to lose it. So RCs is probably going to be your closer bet. You better, you got to get there. We're trying, we're doing everything. We're going crazy, trying to do everything we can to save this state. But you guys, if you don't want our help, there's nothing for us to work for. I mean. It's frustrating. It's very frustrating because it's almost like it's your fault now if yeah. you fail because like I said, every tool that I, I basically, I am the template for how it's going to go down. Yeah. You're going to get a fine. You're going to go to court. You are going to win. They're going to come in. They're going to tell you to wear masks. I, I flat out told the department of ag, I'm not wearing a mask. Can we give you right. some? No, I'm not wearing a mask for political purposes. Right. I'm not going to do it. This whole thing is crap. It's, it's just, it's so frustrating because we are, we are really, really, really trying to help this state but man if you if you guys don't want the help what can yeah we do? We i mean it, it comes down it's almost like a uh, like a catch-22 because people will say oh well i don't have the money for an attorney if you would open up your business to 100 percent capacity you'd have more than enough money the e team will help you raise money we'll do what we can mm -hmm. just you have to have the knowledge first if you got to be on this standing and i don't mean that condescending just come out and learn what the law is within the confines of your business and we'll help you the rest of the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The other thing too, is I feel like when we, because we truly have the heart and the mind to want to help all business owners, like I said, some people said things about us that were totally untrue. We're selfish. We're this, we're that. It's all about the money. It's like, yeah. just shut the hell up. Just shut up. Like we're coming to work. We're doing it in a safe way. You know, if you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. If you don't want to wear a mask, don't wear one. Okay. The ideology of a free thinking, independent, self-governing American right. is exactly that. You make the choice yourself after you realize that Taste of Sicily does everything in a safe like manner, practicing all kinds of, you know, safety practices that we've been doing since way before COVID-19. Sometimes it gets a little discouraging because I feel like it's almost like the military where you know, say, for example, it's the yeah. Marines, Matt, you know, like, and, and, you know, usually they start with one or 200 or 300, however many, yeah. you know, potentials. And then what happens is mm -hmm. they start dropping like flies. Yep. And it's like almost discouraging because you want to help your fellow American. And maybe that's not the best example. But the bottom line is, is that here we are to help and equip, you know, these, you know, other fellow Americans, other fellow mm -hmm. Pennsylvania citizens and whether they're scared whether they just don't want to do it for whatever reason it's it it's a shame it's an absolute shame and you start thinking things in your mind like what is it are they scared are they brainwashed do they not understand that their rights are right. being violated like you know what's the problem what's the issue why are they not fighting for their business, for their livelihood. You know, is it the brainwashing because they watch too much TV, because they listen to too much radio? I mean, I'm of the mindset, I can listen to radio and TV, but at the end of the day, I know what my rights are. And that's a, a key problem that I see is that your everyday average, you know, business owning American doesn't understand what their rights are. They're taking it on the, the chin from this protein deficient yeah. governor and this very confused Levine, you know, secretary of health. Like, you know, it it's is. a joke. It's an absolute it joke. And like I said, and I'll say it again yeah. and then chime in, Matt, is Taste Sicily has done it. And, 
you know, not only have we done it, but we've done it big because we beat the governor, we beat the secretary of health, we beat the state of Pennsylvania in court. What else do we I need know. to show you? I feel like when you read the Bible and Jesus performed all these miracles, and I'm not saying that I'm anything, I'm not a preacher, I'm not saying I'm Jesus. He did miracle after miracle after miracle, and the people still did That's not right. believe. They, he said to them, all these things that I've done, and you still don't believe. Right. It's not an illusion. It's not fake news. We beat the governor's ass okay. in court. <laughs> what else do you need? It made freaking national news. There is nothing else to say. There is nothing else to do except for what I said. Open up your mm -hmm. business to 100% capacity right. already. And we That's ain't right. paying crap. And it's a Sicily. It's a green light all That's day right. long. That's right. I mean, damn! I don't know. We don't know what else to do. <laughs> I'll tell you. I, you know, Mike, you're you, you're up there. But you know what? Mike's absolutely right with what he said. If you've been following Taste of Sicily's story and you've been following Eat, and you know what what we're all about, what Taste of Sicily's about. And then every night you go to bed and you're like, God, please send me something so I under can understand how I can reopen my business. And then the next day you watch lives and you're just like, okay. And then at night, please, God, can you no, please no. send us a, and then one your business is going to close and God, why didn't you send us a messenger? Not saying that we're that, but the message could be, the information could be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So true. So, all right. Yeah. We're going to cut out. Um, have to pray. Let the blind yes. see. Let the blind see. So, all right. So, guys, uh, RC's Bar and Grill next Monday, uh, located in Benton, six from to eight. six to eight, Matt. And uh, we'll have our attorney there. We're going to have the LCB, uh, the former, the former LCB agent, and um, he's great. If you have a bar, and you know, he'll let you know what your rights are. I know it's a little. It's a little more technical if you have a liquor license, but if not, I mean, you gotta wear your mask inside and outdoors. Yeah, or or if you're out, so the, if you're out. So hey, one more thing, and the other thing I want to say is this: Who does this? Who does this? <laughs> the governor of Pennsylvania. That's who does it. He turns off the freaking economic faucet of the state of Pennsylvania. Mm. He literally Ooh, kills. Like he literally kills and destroys. A, a, a crap ton of people's livelihoods and businesses. And then what does he do? Oh, well, we have pandemic assistance mm -hmm. for you now. And we have a really neat certification contract that you can sign that only allows you to open up to 50% capacity. Mm -hmm. This freaking guy, he kills your business. He kills your business. Then this freaking guy wants you to sign a certification that only allows you to open up to 50%. Right? And then he got the nerve to give you pandemic assistance. But pandemic assistance. You would have never needed pandemic assistance if this freaking idiot of a governor never would have turned off the freaking economic faucet on the state of Pennsylvania. But now his plan is give you pandemic assistance okay. to put you into the clutches of the bondage of debt. Your business might have been thriving. It was all good hunky dory, making money, providing for your family. And then this freaking prick mm -hmm. shuts down the economy. And then he's got some really cool tools here. He wants to have you sign a certification that you can only open up to 50% capacity. And then, oh, I'm gonna give you pandemic assistance, which now you gotta pay back to because it's the form of a loan. Mm. This governor is an evil, wicked, wannabe right. dictator. And you got to stand up to him like Taste of Sicily. We kicked That's his right. ass in court. That's right, yeah. Uh, Governor Wolf hasn't shown up to work, and it looks like uh, the other lawmakers are going on vacation. But but guess who's not? Taste of Sicily and the E-Team. We press on. We're not so we're not going on vacation. We have not shown up to our jobs in eight months. We're going to keep fighting for you, Pennsylvania, if you want us to fight for you. We, we can't come to your house and drag you out by your muzzle and say you don't need that anymore. 
right. Come on. Mm -hmm. We need you. Changing hey, look what happens. Look what happens when you open your business to 100% capacity and you don't depend on the government. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Cash, money. That's okay. what it's about. And this is not wrong or evil or greedy what I'm showing you. But listen, my Goombas, we're all tied mm -hmm. to the paper. All of us. We're tied to the paper, okay? And if you don't open up your business to 100% capacity and you allow this guy to enslave you and ruin your business, you ain't going right. to be making this. You might be on the, 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 the public, uh, what is it, the, the public mm -hmm. assistance roles. He's going to destroy your business? You're going to let him do that? Are you kidding me? I mean, you want to talk about the ideology, the American ideology of freedom. This governor kills your business. Then he wants to give you pandemic assistance and put you into debt. You want to be free. You want to be free so you can make That's this right. right here. Okay? That's it. I don't yeah. know what else to say. You know, people say. will always say, oh, well, m money doesn't matter. No, money's not the most important thing, but money always matters. Those money people. always matters. Absolutely. And we want to help Pennsylvania Absolutely. make more. All right. Hold on, hold on. And, that, and you know what? And one last thing. That's another thing. You know, look at what this governor did. What did I say? He shut down the economic faucet, and then he wants to enslave these yeah. other businesses, Matt, by putting them to the clutches of the bondage of debt with the pandemic assistance. You know my mentality? I would rather be poor and broke but free compared to having a business that now I'm a slave to the state because he killed my business and now I got to pay back this pandemic assistance bull crap, which I never would have had to do if this ridiculous governor would have never shut down the economy in the first place. Like I said, I'd rather be dirt poor and free than have a business mm -hmm. that he shut down right. that now I'm in debt, that, that the handcuffs are on and the noose is around my neck and the shackles of debt are on my feet because of what this prick did. Mm -hmm. I don't That's see right. him complaining. He hasn't even showed up to work in about six or seven months. He's ripping off the uh, Pennsylvania taxpayer. Amen. He's having Walter's remodel. It's going to take a year. All right. All right. So, Mike, you're done. You're done. <laughs> Mike. All right. I got to fly. No more. No, keep so going good. on and on. All right. So, anyway. <laughs> wow. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of passion. Um, and I think every time the governor um, enforces new mandates, it definitely hits a chord with this family because even though we're doing good, um, uh, we know that everyone else is not. And that bothers us because we're not that type of family that doesn't care about other businesses. We absolutely do care. So, on that note, um, my cousin Amory's on here. I got to say hello because I haven't seen her in years. But Hey, what's um, up, cuz? How you doing? It's good to see you on here. I guess you know now what's going on in our state. It's been a mess, but it's been a good mess. And Goomba Sauce is going to be coming to Jersey and New York mm -hmm. real soon, yeah. cuz. So my cousin actually lives in New Jersey, and I'm sure things uh, I heard uh, Governor Murphy is just yeah. about as bad as Wolf. He's with uh, Cuomo yeah. and Wolf right now. Let me get this in. Murphy, you're a prick, too. <laughs> We see what you're doing to Ian over there at the Belmar gym, you prick. Okay. So anyway, he's a little yeah. fired up. All right. So, scam damage. Yeah. Cause I just want to say. I just want to say let one last All thing right. before we go. If anybody that thinks that uh, Taste of Sicily and the E Team are in this for anything other than to free Pennsylvania, let me tell you something. Mm. Our, our meet. Our meeting out at the mm. Cracked Egg, not a not a large attendance. But you know what? Instead of canceling on them, we're going. And we're paying for the attorney and the LCB out of our own pockets because we're not going to turn our backs on the people that did want the information. We refuse okay. to do that. So anybody thinks that we're in this for ourselves? No. All right. Absolutely. All right. So everyone, um, yeah. All right, guys, there's a lot of comments. I'll read them if I have time later. We'll see. But uh, all right, well, Matt, yeah, thank definitely. you for sharing. And uh, get your ticket, guys. Uh, remember, the crack day. Uh, Matt's going to, mm -hmm. you're going to post it on Eat. I'll share it again on Perfect. Taste of Sicily. And you uh, can chill because you're amped. Okay, listen. So, everybody, I just want to um, 
you know, if you thought I got a little bit rowdy there. Uh, <laughs> no, your passion is good, but you got to <laughs> chill a little bit. Listen, this governor has <laughs> pissed us off. I know. No, we're not letting him get away with it. So I'm, I'm, I had to like count to 10. Hey. 10, you better count to 100. Week, brother. You better count to 100. Yeah, but anyway, um, yeah. All right, so thanks, cuz. Tell your family I said hello. Hello, everybody. Thanks for watching, guys. A lot of watchers tonight. And um, share these videos, please. Buy your ticket. Um, yeah, I know. Murphy does suck. Yeah, it's terrible. So, um, yeah, yeah, we're going to keep reach fighting. Reach out to the team or to Taste of Sicily if you need anything. Well, let's, let, let, let's make it clear here. Yeah, we're going to keep fighting. But let's just make sure everybody yeah. knows. Let's make sure Give us something to fight for. We're, we're here to fight for the businesses. Governor got his ass whooped in court. So Taste of Sicily is already victorious. We're just trying to get everybody else to do what we're already doing and to participate in the victory that we already have. And, you know, let's not forget, we did win in court, which made national news. So let's not forget yeah, I mean, you know, we're fighting, but now we're fighting for our brothers and sisters, you know, our, our, our counterparts, our, our, our American brothers and sisters, our brothers and sisters our way of in, life. in Pennsylvania. Because, because we already kicked the governor's ass. We're all Don't you want to know how they kicked his ass? I, that, that, that's, already, that's already a done deal. Yeah. And the next thing we're doing is we're going to go to court and we're going to beat the $10,000 fine too. We're still waiting for the governor. <laughs> oh, governor, where are you, oh, governor? We're still waiting yeah. for you to give us that court date. We're still waiting. It's been, it's been three weeks now. A little birdie told us that you were talking Always. about us to the Secretary of Health. And we don't have no court date yet. What is the hold up, Gov? What are you afraid He's of, scared. Gov? Ay, ay, ay. Well, Mike, as long as I'm telling you, I think we covered just about everything, my brother. Sis, come over here. All right, Mike Dumas, <laughs> here's my sister. <laughs> I never dare. You never know what's going to uh, come out of that mouth. All right, guys, tickets. Let's open the state up. I don't know how many more meetings we're going to do after these two because um, if if the, the, um, if the demand is yeah. not there, what else can so. we do? Got to shut you know just shut it, shut that part of it down, and and go on to other yeah. areas because you know. Well so all right, guys, have a good night. You and too. Matt, have Love a you good guys. Night. Love you guys, and uh, you know everybody, keep fighting. All Reach right. out if you need anything. See you, Mike. All right. Say bye. Hey, John. Bye. See ya. Bye.